what is your wildest overseas story or what are your wildest overseas stories? Like essentially kind of the ones like if you were to catch up with somebody from college, like, you know, didn't know that you were playing overseas or something like that and be like, so yeah. what's, what's some of the craziest things you can tell me from your overseas career? So the, the, one of the main things like that I remember was, were from, was from Poland. Uh, I mean, I couldn't believe that this is actually a thing, but you know, I don't know if it's because the team was trying to save money or if, uh, or if, because of COVID, there were less flights, but my team was two and a half hours from Berlin, which is, you know, an international hub, you know, airport wise. And, uh, you know, the team told me that we had some long travels, this and that, but I wasn't, I didn't know exactly what that meant. So uh, we're going to Moscow, Russia, I think was the first time that we were traveling in the VTB league. And uh, they were like, all right, well, we're leaving, um, you know, eight in the morning, we fly at night and I don't know what's going on. Okay. I get on the bus and they said, we got a like eight or eight or 10 hour bus ride, like eight or 10 hour bus ride. Where are we going? Well, right above Poland, there's a piece of Russia called, what is the piece of Russia called? Hold on. I, oh, forgot I, what I think called. I know what you're Leningrad, talking about. Yep. Stalingrad, Leningrad, something like that. So instead of just going to Berlin. Or is it, Kal- is it Kaliningrad? Berlin, Kaliningrad? Kaliningrad. Yep, that's Kaliningrad. it. I, that's I knew exactly what you're talking about. Yes. I just couldn't remember it. So, exactly. Okay. Yep. So instead of just driving two and a half hours to Berlin, hopping on a plane, going to Moscow or from Berlin to, you know, somewhere else in Eastern Europe and go to Moscow, we drive eight to 10 hours on a bus and you can't cross the border in, in the bus. And it's cold outside. It's like March or February. I can't remember what it was. And it was still cold outside. We get off the bus and we literally have to get our bags, our backpacks, our trainer stuff. Who We have to help, you know, whoever. And we walk across the Russian border, at least I think it was like one or one and a half kilometers and have to walk across the Russian border. And the first the first stop was like, you know, I literally one guy with a gun and a and a, you know, a bar that goes up and down. He could just let us go. No, 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 no. He sits there and makes us wait for 30, 45 minutes. And so we're sitting there like, OK, and this is the fifth time that these guys have done this. You know? So for, but for me, I'm fascinated. We're walking across the border to Russia. You know, like what, what is happening? They go to the next one and then they check your bags and then they ask you a question. And then there's a third and it's, you know, we're just, it was fascinating to me that instead of just taking the short flight to Berlin to somewhere else, I'm literally getting on the bus, driving eight hours, walking across the border to Russia, you know, getting checked three times, driving an hour to the Russian airport in Kaliningrad, getting on another plane and then flying to Moscow. And it was just for me, like, you know, in any weather, and any time, uh, you know, you're walking across the border to go. To, uh, it was for me, it was fascinating uh, that, that this was even a thing instead of just making it the easy way. You know, we're having to walk a mile uh, to cross the Russian border and get checked three or four times. And it was just you know, the craziest travel day of my life from what I remember. Hello, and thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, you can also click subscribe over here so you're notified when we have new content here on Expat Hoops.